Are you tired of all this traditional fear-based marketing speak and you don't quite know how to craft a relatable message that gives you great results? Now, would you also like a business that you absolutely love and you're proud of and the business in turn loves you back with ideal clients, customers and buyers? You have to start designing your marketing around everything that you do so that it fits your personality, your desired lifestyle, and your core values. Now, if you're ready to escape the trap of working for money and being your client's slave, I want you to strap yourself in because inside this video, you will learn some of the massive wealth, time, and leverage shortcuts that are used by some of the most successful coaches, consultants, and small business owners on the planet. You are about to discover a new model of running your business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now today, I want to walk you through your own core values. Now, you don't have to use what I call fear-based marketing speak, which is basically the rhetoric and uh, fear-based or hypey, salesy, or the market that feels inauthentic for you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You can actually sell from your heart with love and through your own core values. And when you complete this exercise, you will be in a position to package, brand, and sell your services, and you can create an enjoyable, profitable, successful business that you absolutely love. But before we check out how it all works, be sure to smash the subscribe button on the Leave Long Digital channel because you do not want to miss out on any of our amazing strategy videos that will teach you how to make more money with less struggle. So in this video, we're going to look at uncovering your core values. And why is this important? Well, we want to make sure that the business and the marketing that we're going to design reflects you accurately. I don't want you to have to go out and pretend to be somebody that you're not. So let's say you are a free spirit and you're kind of a wild child. I don't want you going out there and have to be all corporate-y and pretend to be somebody that you're not, okay? So if we can design the business and the marketing to authentically represent who you are and your core values, it will attract the right kind of person who values what you do and sees you as a person that can solve their problems. And it's important that you have clients that connect with you and resonate with your core values because you enjoy working with them and you're not just going to settle for anyone else just because they're paying your bills. So in this act, in this section, uh, we are going to cover four different applications, and I'm going to, um, you know, share my screen with you, and I want to walk you through all of these so that we can really complete these core values and then you get to understand what it is that you are actually bringing to the marketplace and what people are going to be buying um, into from you. So let's talk about uncovering your core values and what your core values are. Well, these are really words that describe how you view yourself and how you view the world and how you approach things, all right? And when we take a look at some of these different core values, there is a worksheet that um, I'm looking at right now. And if you look in your emails, you will have this laundry list of words, um, you know, that you can start utilizing. And this is just a sample, okay? But as you will see, all of these words that you're looking at here, they could actually describe a person, okay? So like I mentioned earlier on, let's say you are a free spirit, you know, odds are you're probably not as as rational as most corporate people are like out there. You may be one of those people that tend to contradict, um, you know, yourself and maybe you're a risk taker and then you're probably not somebody, you know, who likes to be safe and um, is afraid of change. So it's very important that you actually step back and think about how you view yourself and identify what 
your core values are. You know, now, now there's some exercises that you can Google on the web to find different core value exercises. And I don't think you really need to go through all of that. I think intuitively, we all know what we really are all about. And we know what our motivations are and how we view the world, our worldview, because we're always talking in first person uh, instance. So we already know what we like and what we don't like and the people we like and those we don't like, okay? And it's really just a matter of sitting down and picking up some of the words that, you know, I want, you to then help to describe yourself. So as we go through this exercise, you know, it's not, if a word is not on the list on the workshop that describes you, or if you have another word that comes to mind, feel free to add your own words. You know, I've tried here to, um, you know, just provide some sort of a laundry list of words that I think are general, but actually, um, you know, um, counter and look after different types of people okay and you know if there's words that could be used as core value words you know or you have made up some of your own you know you you go ahead and use them because as i've mentioned in the interview there are four sections to this um exercise so the first one is to pick three words okay pick three words that represent how you see yourself okay all right. And then the second one, I want you to pick three words that represent how you think other people see you. All right. That's very, very important. How you think other people um, see you. And usually, you know, when I have a client I have to do this, the words are totally different. A lot of times we think other people may view us as little, um, you know, or a little bit different than we see. A perfect example of what I have around this is recently I had a client uh, you, you know, who in the section when she was talking about herself, she believed, um, you know, she she was driven and she used the word driven as one of her values. And in the section about how others see herself, she saw herself, um, you know, she put in there that um, her mom had called her once that she was a control freak. You know, I had a laugh about this because I literally could relate to this because in my, you know, previous life, when I was young, I sort of had this personality and and i think i've changed because i've got kids and i've gotten a little bit older but i used to be very very driven and i never let anyone tell me no and i, I know in the process i would ruffle a lot of feathers along the way you know and and whatever i wanted to do i was very controlling and i really wanted to manage everything with them with a heavy hand. So very often there are these three words about how other people can see you and you know what you're doing. It might be the same or it might be different. So it gives you a little bit of perspective. Now in the third column, um, you know, I want you to pick three words that you you want to be known for. And if you would notice in um, you know, on the on the worksheet that you have. If you go all the way at the bottom, let me just clear this up for you so that you can see that these are the sections that I want you to fill out. So how you see yourself, how others see you and what you want to be known for and who your ideal clients are. And you can pick from the words that you're using there. Um, you know what I mean? And, and, and things like that. So if you think about legacy, you know, you know, I want you to think about how you're going to build this business and where you're going and how you're going to design it and how it will reflect according to your own core values and what you would you like people to say about what you're doing and and how are you going to be thinking about integrating your own core values because people don't buy what you're selling they buy into you all right so once they're values and their core values are aligned with who you are and what it is that you're doing it will inform you know your website it will inform your landing pages it will inform all your ebooks and things like that okay what would people say um who do people say you are you know you're going to be thinking about your own core values all right for example when you write your marketing copy 
And when you design your website, any piece of marketing that you're going to create, you're going to want to keep this in mind and you want to write in terms of what you want to be known for. So if you want to be known as a free spirit, you know, your website and your copy are going to have to look and read very free spirity, you know? And for example, if you're going to be looking at the fourth part of this exercise is to pick three words that represent your ideal client. You have to know who this is for. Okay. And I really want you to think about the kind of person that you would like to work most with, you know, and that would energize you and, you know, help you wake up every single day, um, you know, to, 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 in order to give them a result. For example, if you're going to be helping people to do something that requires them to have a lot of courage and you want people um, to, you know, implement the things that you're going to be teaching, obviously you're going to want to attract risk takers. You know, you're not going to want people that are risk averse or people that are afraid of change. And so this is something you really have to think about because if you're not aligned with the person that you're going to be working with, either their motivation or their lack of motivation is going to um, deplete your energy and you're not going to provide them with the best result that you uh, want for them. And once you complete this, you'll be ready to move on, um, you know, to start creating, um, you know, your marketing, identifying your target market, clarifying your message and determining what media you're going to be reaching out, um, you know, to this to these people. So now it's time to grab your core values worksheet, which comes with an email and select three of these um, values for each. You know what I mean? And I want to warn you that you're probably going to think that this is something that is um, easy and you uh, forget about it because I, I, I really implore you to take this seriously because if you don't do this, right from the get go. Can you imagine what your target market will be like? Can you imagine what your message will be like? Can you imagine the media you're going to reach out to, um, to these people? You know, I really want you to narrow down the top three, um, you know, things, how you see yourself, how others see you and what you want to be known for. And then eventually write down what you want your ideal uh, target audience to look like because this will inform how your marketing is going to look like and what exactly you're going to be putting out there in the marketplace. So there you have it. Your life story and your core values have so much importance in the way that you're going to create for and relate to the audience out there because you're here to make a difference. And if you are not going to be aligned with the people that you're, that you're going to be working with and the values that you want them to have or to portray, then obviously your work is not going to be aligned or you're not going to give them the transformation that they so are looking for. And if at any time you decide that the last thing you want to be doing is tinkering with your marketing or with your own value system and finding out who your ideal clients with, I'd love for you to reach out to us because we can do it for you. And if you're ready to create a predictable, scalable marketing system that generates an abundance of new leads and nurtures them effectively in an automated manner, I want you to click the button that comes in the email so you can schedule a call with me. I will see you in the next email. Thank you.